my channel. So today we are going to do a double cut crease. I'm super excited for the palette that we're going to use because I've actually been wanting this palette for so long and I've had it now for a couple months. I just haven't used it. Um, so now is the time. We're finally going to use it. It's not new by any means. It's new to me. It's the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. So I'm super excited to get into that. But before we do, I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a video, or as often as you'd like to be reminded. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Jackie, um, and welcome. I hope that you enjoy my content, and please don't forget to share my videos with your friends and family. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in and I'll be primed and ready to go. Okay you guys, so I'm primed and I'm ready to go, so let's get into it. So this is the palette that I will be using today. Um, I am like, you guys have no idea how excited I am. They actually are the company that have like my favorite liquid lips. Well, one of my favorite, I should say by now, other brands have also been added to the list. But years ago, they were my favorite liquid lip um, company. Um, okay, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to go in with the color, um, I'm actually going to go in with the color Princess this time. And I'm just going to apply that with the Morphe M504. So I'm just going to grab that on my brush. And you guys, I want to challenge myself a little bit. So I'm just going to start off with my struggle eye. If you guys have been watching me, you guys know that this eye pretty much always comes out flawless but this eye I don't know it's like the skin's different the shape is different I don't even know how to explain it so I'm gonna want to put that shade up a little bit higher than I normally would I mean if I'm being honest you guys I just kind of go for it most of the time so it is what it is but I'm gonna go ahead and drag that out pretty far and pretty far out and pretty high up so then we're going to go in with the color Empress, which is the orange one. And I'm just taking the same brush. And again, keeping that shade nice and high. And I just want this top section really smoky. So now we're just going to take our primer, I'm just going to use the same one that I primed with, which was that MAC one, and I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting the crease, but I want it a little bit higher than I normally would because we want to have space for like that little negative empty space, and then to be able to add a shadow to the lid. So let's get right into it. You guys didn't even stop me. We're supposed to be doing the struggle eye first. You guys, I've never done a cut crease on myself. I've just kind of seen them before. And they look so pretty. So just like that, we just want to kind of separate where we're going to go ahead and intensify the orange in just a second. Um, so just like that, that way we could separate um, and kind of like have an outline for where that's going to all be. Okay, you guys, so once you have that done, we're going to go in with just any small detailer brush. We're going to start off with this one. If this one doesn't work, we'll switch it. Let's just see. And we're going to go into this Duchess color right here, which is the brown one. And we're just going to kind of go around the outline just to try to like intensify that orange and get it nice and deep right at the line. So we're just going to go in carefully. Oh, hopefully my mirror's not too much in the way and I'm just gonna start off right here in the middle well it doesn't really matter where you start you guys so what we're trying to do is just again deepen up and kind of define the line like where the line is ending And in case you're wondering, this is a Moda brush. It came in like a bundle, I want to say. And I'm just going in like super carefully, you guys. I'm in no rush. So 
So now I'm just gonna take like a little super tiny blending, like I don't even know what it is, blending brush, detailer brush. We're just gonna take that and I'm gonna dip it back into that orange Empress color. And this one is a little bit stiff, so I'm gonna go carefully and try to like blend that brown in with a little bit of the orange. Again, we just, well, I just want it to look more orange, just like darker and more depth here. So then I'm just gonna take any little fluffy brush that's not so round, and I'm just gonna come and make sure that the edges look nice and blended here, and repeat any steps that I need to repeat as many times as I need to repeat it. So I'm gonna take mine just about there, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, and I'll be right back so we can continue with the next step. Okay, so now that we have that completely done, I'm just going to take a flat little brush and then I'm going to use this shade right here and we are going to load it up and pop it in our brow bone. Okay, so now we're just going to go in and we're going to clean up some of that orange just so the primer that we lay on top isn't going to like transfer with the color. So we're just going to go in and clean up as much orange as we can. Okay guys, so, sorry I started without you. So I'm just taking a nice big brush just so we can fill in the space a little faster. Same primer and we're just going in here. And we just want a nice white even layer. And you don't have to worry too much about really brightening up where your negative space is going to be um, because you will probably have to go back in and fix that once you um, finish the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take it about there and then we're going to go ahead and set this. Again, just making sure that nothing's going to move, that everything's going to stay in place. So I'm just going to grab my air spun again and set that and then again you just want to be careful okay guys so once you have it nice and white and set and everything it should look something like this so now we're going to go into the purple shade which is the shade ladyship and i'm just i cleaned off my the same um brush that i used to put the brown and we're going to use the same brush to go in and do the purple outline again i just cleaned my brush that's it I try to stick with the same five brushes or so that I use um, because I know sometimes I get crazy and I know that not everybody has a million brushes to go in and switch out. So just grab a towel, wipe it off, you're good. So again, just going in to separate where we want the negative space and where we want the shadow. So I'm just going to go nice and carefully. I'm in no rush. Okay, so once I have my little outline going, then I'm just going to get another small detailer brush. You can clean off the one that you use for the orange and just go in there and we're going to fill it in carefully. So this one is a little bit softer, so that's why I'm going to use this one um, because the first one that I used was a little stiffer and I feel like it's just going to keep knocking off whatever shadow I apply. You guys, this purple is so pigmented. I'm like barely even touching and it's just like going on so nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the small detailer brush where I use the orange 
and we're just gonna dip into that Empress orange color and we're just gonna add a little bit right here just so it gives it a little pop of orange but at the same time kind of tying in the top shade into the bottom and we want to leave the space right in the middle for a shimmer shade and then switching back to the purple and we're just going to try to blend that a little bit better So now I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go into the, so now I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go into the Your Majesty shade, which is this gold one right here. And we're just going to load up the brush and we're just going to apply that in the center. So I feel like my brush is a little big, so I'm just going to go in with another small detailer brush and I'm just going to get that gold shade right up at the line. So once I have that on like that, I'm going to go back in and redefine the white line. I haven't decided if I want to actually add anything to the white line or if I'm just going to leave it. So we will see after I outline it. Okay you guys, so I went ahead and I filled that little line in. Now I'm debating about maybe adding a pop of glitter. I don't know, like I really wanted to leave it empty with nothing in there, but now I'm kind of like, maybe I do want glitter. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I think I'm just going to go in with it. I'm just going to do it. We'll see what happens. So I just kind of want to make sure that my brush is really thin here. And then if I need to, I got more glitter if I need to fill it in with more glitter. Well, let me get a mirror that I could use a little closer to my face. Because I can't see. Sorry if I go orange. Okay, you guys, that took a minute because I went really slowly. I'm sorry if you hear noises. Cannoli keeps running upstairs and I don't know what she's doing. Probably trashing my room. Um, but if you can see here, I got all the glitter on. I did not super fill it in at the end. It kind of just looks like an eyeliner almost like so you could tell that I did do like the empty space in the middle and I kind of liked it like I was just applying it and it, I like the way that it looks so I left it like that and I did the same thing with the inner corner like it is filled in but it's very lightly so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side this is completely dry I sat here and I was fanning it and I was waiting for it to dry just because I'm so scared that it's gonna like blend in with anything else so I'm gonna go ahead finish my other eye and finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back full face and makeup completely done um but yeah guys oh my god I really like this okay let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back okay everyone so this is the completed look I hope that you guys enjoyed it also quickly you guys this was like still is probably my favorite liquid lip color it's like I don't even know. I just love it. I do have the Animar Cosmetics lip liner around, but I did cover it. So just so you can see, there's not too much of a difference. This is just the shade by itself. I just, I love this liquid lip and it's also by Colored Rain. It's the shade Bachelorette. Love it. I will link it down below, but I'll also link their whole website. So as far as the palette, 
You guys, I really love it and it is super pigmented. Like, I don't even know how to describe how pigmented it is, but here's the, some of the, sorry, it went over a little bit. Those shimmers, like, hello, yes, that is amazing. Like, I, I cannot, I absolutely love it. Let me see if I can even show you some of the mattes. You guys, and the mattes, that's the liquid lip swatch, sorry. The mattes are just as intense. Like, I absolutely love them. But yeah, guys, I absolutely love the palette. I think they have a newer palette out. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on it soon so I can also try that out. But you guys, like, I absolutely love this liquid lip as well. Like, my top favorite. Like, I just keep seeing it on the screen and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I think the reason that I love it so much is because, I mean, it's so, um, it's a shade that to me, it can go on any skin tone and it changes just a little bit by the skin tone. Um, and this company is all about that, all about diversity and inclusion and all that stuff. And so, I don't know, I absolutely love the shade. I love the palette. Check out Colored Rain. I will link their website down below. Like I said, I'll link the palette and this specific liquid lip as well. So anything else that you see on my face, the highlight, the blush, you guys, the blush is by Milani. It's this baked blush right here. Oh my gosh, it's Bellissimo Bronze. I love this blush. Um, but anything else that you see on my face, I will list it down below. Also, I didn't use the magnetic lashes. Um, if you guys want me to try other styles of those magnetic lashes, let me know. I saw a couple comments that came in, and I think you guys got excited about it. So if you guys want me to buy other styles and try them on for you guys, maybe with different looks, maybe in just one video, let me know and I'll do that for you guys. So before I let you go, I just want to remind you guys that I do have a new Instagram. I always link it in the description of the video, um, but it, my old one is linked up at the top. I have to try to remember how I changed that so I can put in the new Instagram, but I do have an Instagram that I do just for the makeup and then obviously I have my personal one if you already follow me there you get to see my personal life a lot um, but yeah if you're just wanting the makeup looks I always link that Instagram down below and I just want to remind you guys okay you guys I will let you guys go before this video gets any longer and I will see you guys in my next one adios